Coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, I've partnered up with Cricut to bring you a special Star Wars themed Pottery Barn knockoff. There may or may not be a special guest visit from Baby Yoda, who I'm totally obsessed with right now. He's so cute. So if that all sounds good to you, stay tuned. Welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome to my channel. You know I must love you because I am out here braving the cold. It's 54 degrees, and that's basically freezing in Florida. <laughs> I've become a total featherweight since moving to Florida. Now I'm a pansy. I will own it. <laughs> so I've got Baby Yoda here with me today, and we are going to be knocking off a Pottery Barn Kids Star Wars marquee sign. And I'm really excited about it because we're gonna be doing it for a fraction of the cost. This is actually a scrap piece of wood left over from my Pottery Barn knockoff of a craft table. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it for you at the end of the video. You don't wanna miss this one, so stay with me. But you're gonna definitely wanna check that one out as well. And so this was free to me. and there there is a way to get free wood. I've told you about it in the past. Look through Facebook Marketplace. Lots of people are always trying to get rid of their free scrap wood. You can check construction site, dumpsters. This is a scrap, so this was no cost to me, and I'm counting it as no cost. We're gonna start out by marking out the dimensions, which are 24 inches by 40 inches. And so we're gonna just measure, and I have a fun measuring tape because you mark where you want, which is 24 inches, and then you push it down and then it makes a mark for you. All right, so now we're gonna trim it out on the back. I start out by cutting some one by two inch flat molding down to size. This is to help disguise all of the cords and such. So now it's time to nail the trim on the back and we're gonna be nailing it directly from the front. I'm gonna be using my finished brad nailer, but you can use a hammer and finish nails as well. That would be perfectly fine. This just makes it go a little bit faster and I love it, it's my favorite tool. And then we'll just go back and spackle it a little bit and so it will be nice and smooth. All right, let's sand this up. So now it's time for me and Baby Yoda to get this painted up. And I've decided not to go ahead and drill the holes first because I think it will be easier to paint it all out and then drill holes. So actually the holes are gonna go in kind of last. You'll see, and it's gonna work out good. And I am using Rich Black by Folk Art, their chalk paint. And we're gonna get this painted up and I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, now it's time to cut our vinyl, but before I did so, I wanted to tell you five reasons that I have really loved my Cricut and having a Cricut machine. And the first one is, is it's really opened up the possibilities when it comes to home decor. We're making some home decor today that's pretty awesome that I'm really excited about. Additionally, it's opened up possibilities when it comes to fashion. You can make earrings, you can make t-shirts, you can make tote bags. It has just made going about things so much easier and so I love that. And it just has a professional quality about it. Even though it might be a little expensive up front, over the long haul, if you use it consistently, it's actually gonna save you money. If you think about all the times you spend a little bit here, a little bit there, you will save money in the long scheme owning a Cricut, and I have just loved having a Cricut machine. It's changed everything. I wished I'd had one for forever. So I would highly recommend them. And if you're interested in it, I provided an affiliate link in the description box below. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna cut our Star Wars logo out of vinyl and you're gonna need two packages of this 12 by 48 inch permanent silver vinyl that I got from Cricut. It's a permanent vinyl, so it should last and stand the test of time. Because of the size of the marquee, you are going to need a 12 by 24 inch mat. I've gone ahead and done the hard part for you and I've designed this so it's all ready for you to cut and I will provide a link for it in the description box. All you need to do is go in and hit make it. Then all you need to do is weed out the part that you're not going to use and apply your transfer tape so that you can apply it to your piece of wood. All right, now this is where we get to see some of the payoff. We are going to lay out our Star Wars vinyl and apply it to the board. Make sure everything's nice and lined up and that nothing's crooked and that it's nice and centered. I'm gonna just do kind of a rough layout and then we will stick it down with the, our transfer tape. 
Now it's time to add the lighting element, the marquee part of the sign. And we've made it really easy on ourselves because we've put where we need to drill a hole in the vinyl lettering. So everywhere there's a circle, we're gonna use a wood boring dr drill bit with our drill to drill a hole. So we can just center it up, drill, and that's where we are going to put a light. Okay, so this is obviously a very, very messy process but this is not the part that I'm really worried about. Baby Yoda and I made a boo-boo. Do this on wood or some place where, maybe on the ground. Maybe on the ground. That would have been good. Drilling the holes is gonna make kind of a mess, so just go ahead and wipe down the sign with a wet washcloth and let it dry. Okay, so now it's time to add the lights, and I picked up these string lights on an after-season clearance sale at Michael's. They were $6 a box, and there's 30 lights in them. We only need 39, so I'm actually gonna have to use two boxes of them, and I'm just gonna unscrew the light bulb and store them for later, because yeah, we may need to replace some light bulbs here and there. So Christmas is coming really quick, and there's gonna be some great after Christmas sales. So grab them on the after season sale, and just keep your eyes peeled for a good deal. So after you unscrew all the light bulbs from the string lights, then you're just gonna simply push them through the hole weaving them back and forth until you've got them all pushed in now if you have some extras just unscrew the light bulbs it's not like Christmas lights where they will be out then you will just tape everything to the back with duct tape I would recommend Gorilla Tape it works a little bit better so this awesome sign will be going into my son's bedroom which I will be doing an extreme makeover on in January so stay tuned for that can you tell the difference our sign is hung up. I'm really excited about it now. Baby Yoda is going to use the power of the force to turn it on. Thank you so much, Baby Yoda. Isn't he so cute? I just love him. So say goodbye, Baby Yoda. If you liked this project and you want to see more of my designer knockoffs, then you're going to want to check out this video right here first. And then I have a whole playlist full of them, so feel free to watch them all. I really appreciate it. Until next time, may the force be with you. Bye.